I think there are quite a few things to latch on to with, with what Irv Teibel did. First, I think, for me, significantly, is the range of environments that he, um, that he recorded. I think also the fact that, as an artist, he went out and, and he released his own work and, and found a way uh, to do it and made, made his art, which is pretty esoteric when you really think about it, but did use packaging and design to get it out there. So it is at once, I think, a work of art. It's also a commercial product. Uh, and, and in some senses, it graphically could be thought of as uh, crass, although not in an injurious uh, or uh, malicious way, more in a like, hey, this is really cool um, kind, of, uh, kind of way. Field recordings, as well as um, electronic music um, and recording, that these, that these are all of a piece. There is no attempt to, um, I think, present things as a, um, as a complete, coherent snapshot. There's always a sense that this is something artificial that if you bring into your life will actually seem very natural.